<laughs> evening all, all evening, and welcome to CBD News with me, Dick Fitzwell. On today's news, John Small has just done a can of busted show at P.O.T.'s. John, how do you feel? Well, I feel good, do, 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 like I knew that I would now, do, do, do. I feel good, do, 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 do. I knew that I would now, do, do, do. So good, do, do, so good, I got the bud, do, 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 do. Ooh. <laughs> right, yes, you seem like you're in a great mood today, John, a great mood. That must be some good bud. Oh, Dick, it's great stuff. And you know me, bro. I cannot tell a lie. Uh, what's the definition of facial sex? Definition of facial sex? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Exactly. Fuck knows. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. What's this? The CBD news or the CBG news? Ha 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 ha! Very funny, very funny. Ha 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 ha! Very funny. Like you found it funny. I mean, you look like a, a BG with that mullet, Dick. <laughs> oh well, wow. Well, I guess I do quite look like a BG. But on a more serious note, what exactly happened on today's Cannabusted Live at POTs? No, Dick. Sorry, you're right. You're right. On a more serious note, dum dum dum. I got lit and talked about the 4th of July and shit. The 4th of July, really? Tell us more. Ooh, okay, I'll have to light this back up. I guess I better start back at the very beginning. It all happened a long, long time ago in a land far, far away. My dear father, forgive me, for I cannot lie. It was me that cut down your cannabis tree. Oh, my sweet boy, I forgive you. Your honesty has moved me so. But tell me why did you cut down my ganja plant, you know? Oh, come now, Pa. It ain't as bad as all that. You got so many more plants over yonder. Over yonder? Now, you've been hanging around with that Tony Lone and Fuji gang, ain't you? You was raised better than to speak like that, boy. Now, how many plants I've got, that's my business. But I would appreciate your honesty if you would kindly tell me why did you cut down my favorite ganja plant, man? Yes, Daddy, I have, and I cannot lie, but, but Tony said that if we threw it on the fire that, that we would feel good, and we did, and we did. And you got so many plants, anyhow. You threw the whole plant on the fire. My boy, my boy, my boy. We have slaves, George. They roll it into these joints. And you can just smoke this, man. What? Now, Pa, I've told you, slavery is a dying trade. And we need to find you enterprise. So, so don't be mad, no, but, but we actually burned three of your plants. We, we had to see. Three plants? Oh, dear me, dear me, man. <laughs> I can't afford three plants, son. If the King of England's about to tax the shit out of the herb. All right, all right, you plebs. Settle down, settle down. Now, Harry's been giving me some of this tree that they found over there in the West Indies. Now, the Americans are loving this shit, boys. So... As a king of England, as it's my country, I think we should charge them for the pleasure of smoking it and growing it, making clothes of it and stuff. What do you say, lads, eh? Let's go. Tax the shit out of the state. Uh, yeah, boss, yeah, yeah, sounds like a grand idea, grand idea, but uh, yeah, when, when will I get a turn to be king, like? <laughs> Fuck me, Sir Dick. I mean, come on, you king. You're a peasant, mate. Eh? Hey, hey, I'm not a peasant fucker. I'm a peasant fucker, son. I'm only a fucking peasant because scum like you run the world and you expect people like me to go over there and enforce these taxes of yours. I mean, what makes you so fucking high and mighty like? Oh, shut up, dick, you cunt. I wear the fucking hat, innit? 
Now get over there and tax the shit out of my colonies. Meanwhile, back in the States, something fishy was going on. Mm. So your pa says that the English are going to try and raise the taxes on this shit, huh? That's less profit for us. So now what? Well, Loon, I've been thinking, and I think we should start a movement, man. I think that I should head out up to, to Boston and see Chad, and, you know, we could maybe have, like, a, a one of our tea parties, eh? Yeah, yeah, a tea party in Boston. You know what, George? That sounds like a good idea. We could gather people around from every state, and they all could just march on the English. Pitchforks in hand, and we could light away. Evening all, all evening, and welcome to the CBD News with me, Dick Fitzwell. Tonight's top story. Americans are revolting. Yes, apparently Americans all across the colonies have decided to revolt against the t -ax tax, also known as TAT. People everywhere have came out in protest against this tax imposed on them by the king. Outrageous. The king has sent over armed forces in many numbers and we shall win the fight. There is no way that they have the right to grow their own weed. This has been a special CBD News report. Peace out for now. And that is exactly how it all went down, allegedly. I cannot lie. I kind of bust the myths. So yeah, the Boston Tea Party kicked off a revolution. One love for one plant became one family that stood together. The colonies united. It became the United States of America. They were independent, away from the kingship of rule. They even signed the Declaration of Independence on the good herb itself. Well, if you like tonight's story and you'd like to see more, hit us up at Can of Busted on YouTube and Facebook. Do like and subscribe and follow the page. Hit up the group where why weed. Much love and respect to you all. Much love fam every day, all day. You know the way I like to end. By living in love, by loving my life and learning to see things from a different standpoint. Peace.